CGA return. That's uh, that's three in the space of about a week, week and a bit. Completely forgot about this one. And then Craig emailed me, and I was like, sweet. Now I'm pretty sure this has got some pretty cool die cuts. Could be wrong. Whoever said that I needed that knife, yeah, you're absolutely 100% right. Alright, I totally need a knife. Now, I think this is only about five or six cards, I could be wrong. Nonetheless. The slab slab submission. Uh, the submission guide for slabbed went up uh, this week. If you haven't checked it out, jump online and do so. Oh, sorry, I'm just playing into the camera stand. Okay, now I've got another little after that. Bit of exposure here for Craig. Hold on, I'll clear this box out of the way. These boxes are really good for sending bulk uh, bulk card orders in, by the way, too. They're not branded, so you can just take them and put the label straight over the top and send them to PSA or Beckett or wherever you're going. All right. Bit of exposure for Craig there. I actually don't think he's... Oop. I don't think he's sent one of these before. You've seen the, the guide, usually it's a, a flyer for, uh... oh look at that, they're updating their website too, so yeah, jump on their website, they actually got some pretty cool stuff on there, some really old graded cards, rugby league, AFL, cricket, some other random stuff, but uh, looks like I've got six. Seven, six, is that three? Seven. There's seven cards to go. I thought it was only like five. And I have got no more cards outstanding with Craig. This is this is it. Although I'm saying that, I've already got another three submissions ready to go that I'm gonna send in. Um, and I've got the other one, that the damage slab that's in there already. I've already got one that's packaged up and I'm, I've already done the online submission part. So I've got another two. I've got a, a bunch of the, uh, I'll just quickly show you. I bought five of these. The limited edition, Dustin Martin. i got four here. I've got another one just up on the left here. These are serial numbered all of them so these are the grand final ones after they won the grand final select um release these to the public so i'm going to get these graded up and then sell them at a higher price point to which i bought them might hold a couple of the low serial number ones Flip a couple and uh, and sit on the uh, the low serial number one. So all right, we'll go with the with the three. All right, so there's no raw ones. This is just all. Oh, that's what I got the. Zebra die cut. That is cool. Trent Cochin. Look at that. 
yeah, outstanding. Yeah, that's a that's a ripper. I think I've got a one of the really rare Trent Cotcham ones in this one. There it is, the fireworks one. That's a that's a serial number twelve of of two ten. If you go over, it's got the number. If you flip over it, I've got the um, I've got the watch and call it's there. So. Oh, that's really cool. And I think I've got the standard one as well. I think I've sent them all one. I'm going to sell them as a package. Oh, the Jade Gresham fireworks as well. The the fireworks, guys, the fireworks die cuts are um, the, the rarer ones. They're the, the of 210s. So, I just realized that that's only an 83. Now, I pack pulled that. So, that just goes to show you. Remember when I, I remember when I pack pulled it? I was like, "Oh damn! I got the, I got the Koch." Now I'm just wondering. There's probably a few little imperfections on there to go that low. Nonetheless, um, that's weird. I bought that one. I bought that Jade Gresham one. You now the the fireworks ones I think go for like over thirty dollars just for the. Because because they're serial numbered, usually serial numbered is more expensive. So these are like a mid tier card. Um, yeah, a little disappointed with that one, but you know it is what it is. I probably probably held the card a bit too much, and I might have. Who knows? And it could be off sender. It could be a whole bunch of stuff. I'll read the report once. Uh, I'll read the report later, and we'll take it from there. All right, let's bring this home. Had some really awesome results, and I still am happy with that with that uh, that Cochin one. Oh, and there's the other one, ninety two. That was pack pulled as well. So that's the three. I am gonna I am going to sell the three of those. That was the the whole plan behind it. Buy one, buy all three. Would have been nice to get all pristines, but hey. I'll take a near mint, a mint, and a pristine. Would have been great to have that uh, that fireworks in pristine, but it is what it is. And oh, the Dugowie. That's a keeper. That's a keeper. Probably my favourite player. Big Pies fan. So yeah, I've got um I've got a few pristine Dugowies. So that's fantastic. Oh, and a mint Dugowie. That's the the 2018 um, dice uh, die cut to go in mint condition. There we go. And what's this last one? I honestly don't remember. Patrick Cripps. Outstanding. See, that was my die cuts that I sent off. So if you ever wondered what the die cuts look like inside, uh, inside the... Uh, with the slabs, this is it. So I'm gonna sell that Crips as well. So they'll keep the two Dugowies and probably sell the rest. But uh, yeah, fantastic. Nice little return there. Uh, I should have another video up uh, later on this week about around cracking slabs um, especially if you're looking to buy some of those other really cheap graded ones from the states that have the good cards in them because they're always cheaper and you can buy those crack them and re-slab them going to go through that process um, and a few other things as well so thanks for tuning in guys and we'll see you next time